stand. Public enemy service announcement, because I feel this is something that we got to say. You see, they're trying to make hardcore rap disappear. Trying to make it final for the vinyl. Saying that it's time for the wax to relax. Black radio, yes I said black radio, put most of us to sleep in the 90s with too many, I said too many, slow jams. And I want to know where's the beats for the mind, for the feet, not the songs that's put me to sleep. Thank <laughs> you.
on, make some noise for the crews, yo. All right. We got S2. S2. The group S. I like do. Versus Quad Squad. A small division of Quad Squad. S2, Quad Squad, let's make it happen. Who's S2? Okay, right there, alright. DJ, you got a beat? This, this one should be fun. Alright, let's get down. Alright, you're gonna keep some breaking, and some rapping, and some breaking, and some striking, and some breaking, and some competing, and some breaking.
That was the first time. Give it up. Give it up for all the participants.
Tattoo versus Quartier General. Where you at? Where you at? Okay, here we go. DJ. Give me a beat.
Colorado, 2-6 two, two versus S2. Let's do it.
guys have done. Give it up, give it up. That was the final battle. Give it up. These guys made it all the way to the final. Okay. We're about to get into something really hot.
Ronda. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 while all this is happening, the music is still playing. Yes. Come on,
Let me finish. Man, who's for doing his thing? Thank you. I have room.
Crazy Smooth. I'm just here chilling after practice, you know. I want to welcome everybody to Fresher Steps DVD Part 1 um, and just take two seconds really to talk about Fresher Steps and the concept and what we tried to create with, uh, with this jam. Basically, Esoteric Soul Movement is a group uh, of members that we try to um, promote hip-hop and its culture. Um, but because we're b-boys, the first thing that comes natural to us is to organize a b-boy jam. And by doing so, Freshest Step 1 was a great success. Um, really happy about the turnout, how many kids came up, and really how the parents also supported the kids coming to the jam. And I think that the jam in itself really brought everybody together, and the kids got to see 
themselves and also other kids do the, the, the same things that they see on TV. Because a lot of times kids, you know, they idolize stuff on TV and they see that, you know, they see the videos and they're like, oh, that's amazing. But sometimes, you know, they don't realize that if they work hard, they could probably do the same thing they see on TV or probably better. Most of the stuff the kids are doing now, to me, is, is better than, than all those videos. So, you know, Esoteric Soul Movement, we try to promote that and promote what's positive in, in this culture, in hip-hop culture, because a lot of times because of the media, because of what you see in the videos, um, people only take the, the negative in, in this culture. But this culture, those who came to Freshest Steps, they saw that this culture and this movement is very, very positive. And the social, the social movement behind it is, is, is very powerful, you know? Like when you come to Freshest Steps, the B-boys, the B-girls, you know, you make friends and then you, you meet people and, you know, you start practicing together. All those things are, are things that, you know, that you don't see uh, in the videos or you don't see, the media doesn't show that. So, you know, I'd like to thank everybody that supported the jam, you know, but special thanks goes to people that helped out, you know, people that came early and helped with the setup, people that worked at, the, at all the, the, the booths, people that worked helped sell the, the food, um, you know, all those people. The jam couldn't have happened without you guys. Thank you this much. And also like to thank the party couldn't have happened without the DJ. Shout outs to you, DJ Benjamin did a terrific job uh, DJing. Um, I think the kids really saw, you know, what b-boying and the music behind what we listen today, today, which is funk. You know, the kids uh, started to listen to it and, you know, enjoying the, the pureness and the, the, the funk in, in, in the b-boy music. And also, um, I like to give a special thanks to the parents that came and supported their kids to the jam and also the parents that came and just to support the scene in general. And I think that coming to, to things like these, the parents get to understand what this really is and, you know, their ideas or might change. And, you know, by doing that, you know, they could tell other parents and, you know, no, this, this b-boy thing isn't about, you know, causing trouble. It's purely about the art form, which is dancing and, you know, whatever, hip hop, you know, rapping, DJing, uh, writers, all those things, you know, that come together in one. So, you know, shouts to everybody that supported Freshest Steps Part 1. Um, get ready because Freshest Steps Part 2 is coming through. And, you know, I think a lot of kids are practicing, so it should be hot. But yeah, check it out. Peep it. Freshest Steps Volume 1, the DVD. Crazy Smooth. And I'm out. Peace.